Hello everybody. Uh, myself Ajay Raj Singh. I have been teaching geography optional for the last 15 years, and I have helped scores of students to crack UPSC exam as well as state exams with geography optional. And some of my students have been able to score highest marks. Like last year itself, Yashar Shekhar scored 306 marks in geography. Now here I'm to explain you what why geography is having an inherent advantages over other options although every option is equally good uh, political science sociology anthropology every subject has its own inherent advantages and disadvantages here i am going to discuss about geography optional what advantages geography optional has over other subjects See, first of all, those who are from science background, like even from arts background, geography is inherently advantageous for those who are from science background. Because physical geography aspect like climatology, oceanography, it, they can correlate it very well. Even if they are not from science background, if the teacher is explaining, explaining the things from the very basic, they won't feel any a difficulty in grasping the concepts. Now, what are the inherent advantages associated with geography? First, this topic is scientific. So, a lot depends. Basically, people uh, do not like cramming the things. In geography, in physical geography, things are very scientific, organized, logical, correlated. So, here, because of scientific nature, it is far more interesting than any other subject. You can correlate geography with daily life, like landforms, like climate, rainfall, cyclones, like oceans, ocean currents, you, you, biomes, vegetation, soil. You can correlate with the daily life. So it is far more interesting and this makes it different from others. Because when you study a thing, when you study a subject, we're having inherent, uh, basically, interest in it. Then what happens? Your stress transforms into you stress. You start enjoying the subject. Since it is interesting, you say video game khelte na, khelte aate, you are stressed, but still you are enjoying it. Likewise in geography, it's very interesting. And being scientific, it is highly scoring. Marks fetching potential of geography is far more than any, any other subject. That is indisputed. Geography, in addition, is having inherent advantages in GS. In GS1, explicitly 100 marks questions are asked from geography. And these nature of these questions is such that a person having geography optional can only afford to answer these questions. Apart from this, in GS3, again 100 marks questions are asked from geography. No other option gives such ex extensive coverage in GS. Even if you don't opt for geography, you end up studying geography, almost 40% of geography. Now, Geography being scientific, being interesting, uh, being scoring. At the same time, there is some limitation. And the only limitation is people say, sir, its syllabus is very vast. No, it's not that. Maybe in sociology or anthropology, you end up with very small syllabus. But the nature of question is such. Certain aspects are implicit, which are not mentioned in syllabus. So their syllabus appears to be small. But in reality, when you elaborate it, it is almost same and the advantage that you have with geography in GS that is unparalleled neither sociology nor political science nor anthropology can be any substitute for it next what is going wrong with geography see for the past four or five years geography people are putting allegation that marks people are unable to fetch marks in geography number of aspirants aspiring from geography as compared to those who are getting selected this ratio is very uneven people opting for geography they are very large but the number of selections are less 
this is a wrong felt notion because what happened during the last four or five years every student started opting geography irrespective of the fact what is his background what is his field of interest second loads number of teachers ventured into this field number of teachers in geography not having the adequate knowledge base not having the adequate experience to guide geography requires a very systematic approach very systematic approach a every teacher any any person who is not having in depth experience in geography cannot afford to teach the subject while teaching geography you must feel the subject you must feel it and you can feel it only when the person who is guiding you is feeling it otherwise you will end up losing entire interest in geography for example suppose you are very fond of kadai paneer but the person who is making this dish is not at all experienced and the quality of kadai paneer will be very inferior you will end up losing interest in it so it's not the subjects only that is interesting the person who is guiding you who is mentoring you should also be equally qualified and dedicated to make you understand the subject now what is happening people are sorting for shortcuts some teachers are so now see up to 2007 8 Uh, there used to be a different pattern of questions the questions were 600 words questions 60 marks so there was used to be a question from geomorphology climatology uh, models and people used to go for selective study but now for the last 7 8 years they are asking small questions from and they are asking questions from every every aspect of geography from every topic of geography now na students wanting a shortcut what do they do they go for 500 questions preparing 400 questions 600 questions this piecemeal approach is not going to work for them you won't fetch good marks you will end up losing your uh, interest as well as because when you study in a piece in piecemeal manner what happens you the geography concepts are correlated integrated suppose in climatology you can't even afford to skip a single topic otherwise you won't get the next topic so topics are interrelated and if you study in a segregated manner like 500 questions 600 questions you will end up messing up with the concepts and you lose end up losing interest so geography is such a subject that shortcuts are not going to work yes but once you follow the advice what do i do i take a topic suppose geomorphology i take a topic origin and evolution of the earth crust i'll explain you in class your entire focus will be on understanding the concept and making certain diagrams same lecture you will get in recorded form in classroom also in online class also then back at home you will make notes from the class lecture suppose the notes cover four pages five pages six pages 10 pages you will make notes from the videos then you will read those notes 10 to 12 times and then you will reduce those notes into one page that is synopsis once you make the synopsis of every topic then we conduct a test once you start making synopsis you will see that entire geography would be reduced into 200 pages you can revise it 20 times so what happens people have a different approach they want a piece they want shortcuts there is no shortcut as such yes going through it rigorously you can ultimately reduce geography in 200 pages and make it very short but for that you will have to work hard in paper 2 in geography in paper 1 they are entirely different paper 1 deals with concept physical geography concepts of physical geography human geography concepts of human geography and in paper 2 it is applied you have to carry or forward the concepts from physical geography and human geography and cite examples in paper 2 and you have to cite case studies in paper 2 people usually avoid it so you must make it a habit of going through magazines like yojana going through newspapers from there you can cite very creative example while in class i give you very creative example not bookish examples those examples which aren't to be found in any book your examples your ideas should be new they should they should be innovative they should they, sh they should be solution oriented then you can fetch marks in geography <coughs> people usually make mistake 
they ask sir in short notes do we need to make diagrams and maps such questions but a diagrams and maps are an integral part of geography the purpose of diagrams and maps is examiner must come to know what you have written over there <coughs> people people tend to write the answer and at the end draw the diagram that is defeating the purpose of diagram itself you should draw the diagram and map before the answer so that examiner must come to know what you have written over there if he is able to make it out from your diagrams and maps he won't even go through your answer he will he is least interested in your uh, uh, writing skills geography is not a completely humanity subject flowery language is not required answer has to be to the point isn't it so that is the inherent advantage you don't don't need flowery language likewise in sociology or political science or other subjects geography is scientific you have to be precise to the point with citing case studies in paper 2 and applying the concepts of physical geography and human geography citing it over in paper 2 so you have to be very precise since questions are small and they are asking from every topic there will be one sh one small question from climatology one from geomorphology one from oceanography one from biogeography so it is not that ki you, you you can skip yes if you want you can skip but one one more thing if you want to skip you have to once for once you have to cover the entire syllabus because otherwise you won't reap the benefit in gs suppose you skip the topics in geography then the benefit that you would reap in gs that would be lost now what happens in geography optional people what do they do they ask for books sir what all books do we need to refer but the books are static and the nature of questions that is being asked is dynamic how can you tackle a dynamic aspect from a static aspect so whatever printed notes that i provide whatever class discussion that i have i regularly keep on updating the magazines geography and you down to earth yojana you won't need any book apart from that maximum you can go for two small books made simple rupa made simple series physical geography and socio economic geography that's it otherwise those are also not required but you must go through those books plus you must go through the ncert books 3 4 times ncert books from 6 to 12 geography ncert books 3 to 4 times and the most important thing in this exam is before beginning the preparation you need to do two things first you need to cram the syllabus whether it is gs or geography in gs also cram the syllabus so whenever you are study going through article or any newspaper or any magazine you will precisely come to know this topic is mentioned there in geography so i need to study you will come to know what not to study and what to study if you know the syllabus you have crammed the syllabus thoroughly even before beginning the pre 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 preparation so while you are going through any magazine or current event you will come to know yes this is a part of geography second thing you must go through the past 10 years question paper that way you will come to know what is the nature of questions which is being asked from this syllabus in paper 2 you will find almost 40% questions as repeated only the language is changed in geography so what happens people don't have habit if if you know the syllabus you know the areas which have, which are to be covered and if you know the previous years question you also come to know what is the nature of question that is being asked from the syllabus that is very important if you do these two two things before joining any institute cram the syllabus go through the 10 previous 10 years questions multiple times multiple times you must you, in fact you will find ki there is a pattern there is a trend in geography there is a particular trend in physical geography you will find certain questions are asked in geomorphology which are nobody is able to answer with those questions are such that nobody is able to answer and you must not uh, try to answer those questions what happens in prelims also if you see out of 100 questions 10 15 questions are such nobody knows the head and tail of it and you need not bother about them so the, you need to know what to be what is not to be studied and what is to be studied and certain things are to be chewed and digested so here seeing these trends of questions you will see certain questions are such which are from in fact 
you can say out of syllabus so certain questions are from current aspects nobody is able to answer them so don't get disappointed because out of 500 marks question paper in geography suppose if you attend 450 marks question still you can afford to get 300 plus marks provided the questions that you have attempted you are very thorough with them and there's an art how to break the questions into parts at times people end up answering one part of the question and they totally uh, 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 do, uh, lag behind in the other part suppose a question is having two three parts you must go through all, entire question two three times and you'll see different aspects are being asked and you need to precisely answer those aspects you don't write what you know write what is being asked over there <laughs> in paper two especially you will find the questions are highly applied at times certain questions are very generalized anybody can answer discuss the issues of indo china border issue discuss the indo china border issue or certain questions like indo pakistan but what is the quality of your answer what ingredients what current aspects what historical aspects where the government has gone wrong historically and what are, what measures need to be taken in order to solve this you have to be a little bit creative in this aspect so this is this creativity comes from the exhaustive study that you do in our classes i take every topic elaborately after discussing it you get the videos whatever i have been discussed in class you jot down points from the videos and read it 10 15 times and when you read the same thing 10 15 times you tend to create new ideas from it if you read the same book 10 times you will get lot more things it's better to go through one book 10 times rather going through 10 books in fact in my case i would advise you stick to the notes that i provide stick to the classes that i provide stick to the updates because i cover geography and you down to earth yojana you won't require any book apart from that now and you are free to raise queries on this uh, uh, video and i'll answer your queries because this topic is unending Madlab, geography how it need to be studied that certain things can only be explained by way of examples and it would take a lot of time if i take a particular example but overall the my view is that you must go for extensive study and not books because suppose i suggest you certain books like for geomorphology savinder singh in savinder singh so much of things so many things are there which are no way related to related to upsc that book is also meant for graduates certain if you and if you choose it, if you start choosing book you will end up choosing book for every topic ds lal for climatology stroller installer for climatology or biogeography basically uh, this uh, clim oceanography sharmain watal biogeography again savinder singh so that way it would become a, a extremely difficult because if you study more the point is you have to reproduce precise to the point answer in three hours in three hours you have to write approximately three at three thousand words you can't afford to write it by recalling it things should be precise so while i will discuss the topic every topic and i will ensure that you make synopsis of every topic and that synopsis need to be remembered and in paper two that synopsis need to be aided with case studies and the uh, the uh, principles of human geography and physical geography it's not that much knowledge see knowledge and being getting selected and having immense knowledge of geography is different you need to know how to use your resources you see there's a difference between resource and resourcefulness resourcefulness means whatever resources you are having how efficiently you are utilizing it that is more important you need not have ex extensive knowledge you need to have clear-cut understanding to the point understanding of every topic what do people do they end up studying an entire book at the end they are unable to recall anything your entire effort goes in vain itna nahi padhna hai zyada padhna hi failure ka reason hai you need to know the, the, that there comes the relevance of coaching institute why am i here i will precisely guide you you have to study only this much so that you may able to reproduce it samandar jitna syllabus hai balti jitna yaad rehta hai magge jitna ude laate hain usme selection ho jata hai you need to know what exactly to be remembered 
what exactly is to be remembered people end up studying so many things at the end they mess up they are totally messed up and in fact this exhaustive study becomes one of the main reason for the failure whatever you study study from precise notes precise books and repeat revise them time and again in jog case of geography confined to my notes confined to my lecture and my updates and revise it if you are able to revise it multiple times i can assure you for the for past 15 years i have been guiding and i have seen very average students cracking this exam and getting very good marks in geography even students do not know the names of the books they basically books are exhaustive elaborate they try to explain each and everything which are no way related to geography ab at times what happens certain questions are asked which are not taught by me or which they are not taught by anyone you cannot answer every question take it for sure don't try to be perfectionist don't try to be perfectionist you will end up getting stuck you have a, an approach you you prepare the way i tell you every year even after getting selected you will feel there's a huge scope for improvement scope is always there but in the process you get selected right so if you have any queries any questions you can ask on this uh, video i'll answer it